Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Forgive my scratchy voice and the lack of videos. It has been stomach flus and kidney stones and migraines and chest colds and there's just been a lot. <laughs> For everyone there's been a lot, but yeah, that is the lack of videos. However, I really wanted to get this up today because it was St. Patrick's Day inspired though it's not specifically like Happy St. Patrick's Day. However, the colors I used and the th idea behind it was obviously inspired. And since today is St. Patrick's Day, I wanted to get this up. So got it edited. And again, apologies for my voice because I just sound ridiculous. But anyway, I started off with Simon Says Stamps Rainbow Heart Wafer Dye. And I just grabbed a whole bunch of scraps of different shades of green cardstock from my stash, as well as some of Simon's um, gold glitter paper. And what I found was easiest with this, since I'm literally working with just random little scraps, to be able to make sure I was die cutting the areas I wanted, so you know I get a full little you know rainbow stripe. I am die cutting face up, which is technically what is recommended by the manufacturers anyway. But all of us, we all die cut face down because it's easier. <laughs> but this time I flipped everything around and I'm die cutting face up so I can see what I'm doing. So I can die cut all of these green pieces of cardstock and get like a strip of each part of the rainbow, which for me doing a card like this, I, I'm just, that's where my, you know, I have a very light case of OCD and things like rainbows it's very difficult for me not to do like specifically rainbow order you know red orange yellow green blue purple that sort of thing but then I see other people that'll do it and they'll you know they'll mix up the order or they use you know different colors all that sort of thing and I love the look of it it's just extremely difficult to do for me but I thought why not let's do it in greens and add some gold and you know and then after I did it it's like oh, I could I could keep doing this <laughs> So anyway, I die cut all the pieces with the green card stocks and the scraps of the gold glare paper until I had the whole, you know, piece ready to go. And then I pulled out Kathy Zielski, the CZ Design um, Good Luck Wafer Die Set. And I die cut the outline from black cardstock. And then the actual words I die cut from white cardstock. And I'm going to die cut these multiple times since I had the space. I actually wasn't originally planning to do this because a lot of times when I have the outline wafer die as well, I don't feel the need to stack my die cut words because it just, the outline kind of finishes it off for me. But there's nothing like a stacked sentiment. I've said this in a ton of videos, but I really like the look of it. It just, it gives it that extra something. So that's what I did. I die cut the words three times from the white cardstock. And I'm just going to stack these together with Simon's Craft Tacky Glue, just applying a thin little amount to the back. And then I'll stack all three layers of the words, which I, I know I've said this to you. I really like words like this that are all connected, so I'm not having to sit and fiddle with a bunch of letters. That's also why I called this video easy, because it really is. It's just a matter of die cutting, a little bit of stamping, and then adhering everything to your card. So I stacked my words and then I'm going to apply adhesive again to the back of them and I'm going to adhere this to the black outline that I die cut from the black cardstock. And then once I've got all of that um, assembled, I've got the bulk of my sentiment. I am going to do a little tiny bit of heat embossing for the rest of it, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I've got my sentiment all stacked and ready to go and then I have my card base, which is Simon's Heavyweight White Cardstock. It's a standard A2 size card. This time it'll be a side folding card, which is also something I don't do very often. It's just been habit after 15 years. It's been longer than 15 years now um, to do top folding cards. But this time I decided to do side folding. So I'm adhering the heart pieces off center because um, I just wanted the look of that. And I'm just using the Graft Tacky glue and kind of holding up each piece and trying not to apply too much adhesive past where it's going to hang off the edge. This, this is just a save me from getting glue absolutely everywhere or gluing my card shut, which is also a possibility. So I'm going to adhere all these pieces. I had no rhyme or reason with the green cardstock, like literally just a bunch of scraps, as well as I didn't bother to, you know, go lightest to darkest or anything specific. I just wanted all these different shades of green for me while it's St. Patrick's Day inspired it's just like bright and cheerful and very spring 
while I'm saying this, there's literally snow everywhere still, of course. But anywho, got all that adhered. But before I actually finished the outside of the card, I wanted to finish the inside first. So I have the Great Things stamp set from CZ Design. And I'm actually stamping everything with Versafine Claire inks. I'm using um, three different shades of the greens, and I'll have them all linked with the supplies, as well as, of course, the Versafine Claire Nocturne, which is like my go-to black crisp ink for stamping sentiments and that. So I stamped the sentiments with the different greens as well as there's little shamrocks in the set. That was kind of my little nod to St. Patrick's Day. So I stamped those on the inside of the card. And then for the outside, I grabbed um, another piece of green cardstock and I'm just stamping another sentiment from the Great Things stamp set. And I'm just stamping it with Simon's clear embossing ink. I um, coated it with detail white embossing powder, melted that with my heat tool. And then I'm going to die cut this with one of Simon's um, sentiment um, sentiment labels, wafer dies, the smallest one. So I taped that into place with my washi tape so it didn't move. So it cuts that into a perfect little strip. And then I can cut down the edges with my paper trimmer. And then once I've got this cut down, I can start assembling everything onto the front of my card. So I'm going to adhere the good luck die cut sentiment with the craft tacky glue. So I'm going to put that in place once I figured out where I wanted to place. Like, did I want to center my sentiment? Did I want it off to the side? Decided I wanted it off to the side as well. So I'm going to adhere the sentiments into place, this one with the craft tacky glue. And then the little sentiment strip, I'm going to just pop a little bit of the Doris uh, foam tape on the back of it and then peel off that bagging. As always, you could leave it here, but I still have to add a little more bling even though I have the glitter cardstock. I went through my stash and pulled out a whole bunch of Studio Caudia um, crystals. So I have the gold ones, of course, and then the onyx ones, which are black. And then I have two different shades of green. I have the May crystals and the August crystals because I wanted a couple different shades of green in there. So sprinkled these onto this card front. Once I was kind of happy with where I had placed all of them, I am going to adhere these into place with the craft tacky glue and just using my Studio Caudia embellishment wand. So a lot of people ask me about the embellishment wand. Um, I absolutely love it. If you find it's not sticky anymore, you can anything, any of these type of jewel picker items, wash it with a very gentle soap, like some dish soap and water or wipe it with a baby wipe because they do tend to pick up some adhesive, lint, dust, etc. over time. So I find usually washing them works. Um, with this one, because it is a wax end, you can also kind of reform it, like let, let it warm up a little bit with your fingers and reform it and that works too. And then there are actually replacement. You can buy just the little replacement end. So hopefully that helps anyone. Um, as always, I'll have links below the video to my blog post. I'll have a supply list with links to all the supplies used. Stay tuned. I will be back with a ton of videos over, like, back in business as I'm just getting over all of this craziness. So stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.